Hello everyone, you're watching another episode of Military TV. The Battle of the Somme has gone down in history as one of the bloodiest ever fought, with over a million men killed or wounded in the course of the largest action on World War I's Western Front. Less well known, however, is that the third phase of that 141 day long offensive also marked the battlefield debut of the tank. The tank's contribution to operational success was so considerable that an entirely new tactical and technological system of anti-tank warfare was developed, using bazookas, minefields, and even anti-tank dogs with varying degrees of success. But today the concept of the tank is 100 years old, and since its heyday 70 years ago there have been countless debates over whether tanks still have a place in modern warfare. The question arises, will the tank continue to play a role on tomorrow's battlefields? And if it does, how will tanks and armored fighting vehicles need to change to meet the challenges of future warfare? It will be the topic of our episode today, so sit back, relax, and enjoy this video. Tanks displayed their true mettle in World War II, when masses of German armor overran much of Europe and parts of North Africa using the Blitzkrieg Lightning War tactic. But that did not go unchallenged for long. In October 1973, the Yom Kippur War came as a rude shock and sparked an intense debate on whether the tank had become obsolete. Regardless, the story of the tank since World War II has not been of obsolescence, but of evolution. From the outset, one thing seems very clear. All the experts are sure that tanks will still be around for their bicentenary in 2116. As military conflicts change in scope and reach, experts predict a future when swift and decisive strikes using electronic, cyber, and space-based assets are likely to take down critical infrastructures such as communications, utilities, and transport with the aim of leaving the enemy blind and unable to fight. With attention shifting to strategic targets and cutting-edge technologies like robotics, artificial intelligence, and autonomous drones, the logic behind maintaining legacy platforms has been brought into question once more. The introduction of gunship helicopters and unmanned suicide drones further complicated matters. Hybrid wars and low-intensity insurgencies have added to the mix as well. At a time when pertinent points are being raised over the practicality of tanks, many countries are in the process of drawing up plans for the next generation tank. Expected to be unveiled in the next 10 to 15 years, the much-touted future combat vehicles may completely change the concept of tanks as we know it. Today, the operational environment and conditions of modern warfare have profoundly changed, and the world is witnessing a robust re-emergence of next-generation tanks. These types of tanks will be the primary weapons of militaries in many coming decades. Accordingly, tanks and armored vehicles are being developed in the direction of improving firepower, lethality, equipping with protection systems, enhancing mobility, command and control, and communications by countries. So, what are the things to be improved by tank to meet the challenges of future warfare? Let's check it out. Larger Caliber Guns Tank guns are the main armament which decides firepower of tanks. Together with rapid development of science, technology, and military technology, the development of tank guns has recorded significant breakthroughs, ensuring their necessary firepower to destroy different targets. Next-generation tank guns are characterized by longer range, higher accuracy, and superior firepower. Increased power of tank guns is achieved by longer barrels with larger caliber has been demonstrated in the 2A46M 125mm gun for Russia's T90S tank, or the L55 120mm gun for Germany's Leopard 2A7 tank. These guns can fire many types of projectiles, including laser-guided missiles. The trend in development of larger caliber guns is also shown in the Russian T14 Armada tank which is rumored to have a 135mm smoothbore barrel. The muzzle energy of this tank gun can reach 18 megajoules, which is almost double that of the most advanced tank guns currently. Increased lethality of ammunition 
Militaries are focusing on innovating and upgrading their existing projectiles, developing next-generation ammunition with homing capability, generalizing and diversifying tactical role and range through application of guidance technologies such as laser, infrared, inertial navigation systems, global positioning systems, laser and IR combination guidance, INS and GPS combination guidance, and so on. Lethality of these projectiles is increased through using composite material. The core of armor-piercing rounds is made from tungsten carbide or uranium. Some cutting-edge technologies of tank ammunition that are being researched and developed by countries include armor-piercing fin-stabilized discarding Sabo, cassette warheads to destroy troops, hyper-velocity projectiles, active armor-piercing ammunition, top attack shells, armor-piercing shells fitted with electronic primers, and so forth. Currently, Russia designates gun-launched missiles as standard supporting weapons of its tanks. Therefore, most of Russia's gun-launched missiles can be integrated with existing tank guns and fire control systems. This is the reason why gun-launched missiles are widely deployed on Russian platforms. The Russian-made 9M119 missile is known as AT-11 Sniper by NATO. Due to its extremely high initial velocity, it takes the missile only 5 seconds to hit the target 4 kilometers away. The missile has a length of 460 millimeters, which makes it possible to be kept and loaded like normal rounds of tank gun ammunition. This not only helps to save space inside a tank, but also enhance credibility. Autonomous Fire Control System Autonomous fire control system is indispensable for promoting firepower of tanks. Currently, both new and upgraded tanks are equipped with autonomous fire control systems to assist them in targeting, tracking, and hitting targets at long distances, improving their combat effectiveness in any conditions, day and night, fixed or mobile. Russia's T-90S tank has the automatic 1A4GT integrated fire control system, which automatically calculates firing range, sighting angle, deflection firing angle, wind velocity, angle of declination of the cannon, temperature of ammunition and atmosphere, pressure at the muzzle, and types of ammunition. Integration of Protection System As a result of development trends in ammunition and anti-tank missiles, as well as increasingly effective, smart improvised explosive devices, IEDs, Many countries have paid attention to improving protection systems of tanks. Passive protection systems will be improved by special shields to protect the hull, armor floor to provide protection against mines and IEDs, enhanced armor at the turret, and application of camouflage paint to lessen the risk of being detected in IR spectrums. More explosive reactive armors are installed on the turret and the hull to augment protection against armor-piercing ammunition. The capability of ERA may be further enhanced to increase the survival of tanks before all kinds of anti-tank weapons, even the guided ones. The ERA serves to increase protection against high-explosive anti-tank projectiles by 1.5 times and against armor-piercing rounds by 1.2 times. Tanks are also equipped with active protection system, electro-optical jammer, and laser radiation detector systems to protect them against anti-tank ammunition and missiles. Nowadays, active protection systems such as Russia's Afghanet and Israel's Trophy are capable of intercepting missiles flying at a speed of 500 meters per second from the distance of 400 meters, as well as RPG-7 rockets firing from 30 up to 100 meters. These systems will be improved in the direction of increasing types of intercept rounds decreasing dead areas, increasing reaction capability, and reducing size and weight in the future. Enhanced Mobility Mobility plays a decisive role in combat effectiveness of tanks. Global military powers have recently announced plans to develop and apply the latest innovative engine technologies to tanks. New concepts of engines have come into being, such as high-power density diesel engines, turbocharged engines, hydraulic-free piston engine, combined diesel engine and gas turbine systems, and electrical hybrid engines. However, according to experts, diesel engines and gas turbine engines will remain the primary mode of power-generating devices of tanks in the near future. 
Consequently, the main trend in enhancing mobility of tanks is to improve the motive power components in the direction of enhancing capacity and torque using subsidiary engine products, automatic transmissions, and perfecting suspension systems. U.S.'s Abrams tank, Germany's Leopard tank, France's Leclerc tank, Japan's Type 10 tank, and South Korea's K2 Black Panther tank have been equipped with automatic hydraulic transmission systems, which makes it easier for steering the vehicles, reduces driver fatigue in long distances, and increases the average vehicle speed. Nevertheless, this method is expensive and decreases motive performance of tanks, especially on broken terrains. As far as suspension system is concerned, most modern battle tanks have an independent suspension system. However, hydropneumatic suspension is used by some types of tanks such as India's Arjun Mark I and II tank, South-Korea's K2 Black Panther tank, and Japan's Type 10 tank. Hydropneumatic control suspension will be widely used for tanks in the future, because its smaller size allows combination in suspension systems to ensure convenient structure and smooth ride on all kinds of operational terrain. Networked Operations Improved command and control of tanks is secured by not only modern communications equipment, positioning and navigation devices, but also automatic combat command and control information systems at all command levels. Currently, most upgraded and next-generation tanks are equipped with combat command and control information systems, which are networked or integrated into automatic command systems on the theater. The combat command and control information systems on platforms, which are often developed on the basis of digital networks, are capable of operating in secure modes, transmitting data in the central network system, ensuring effective communications, displaying scenario information, positions and status of tanks including the number of rounds left, fuel, damage and solutions, and so on. Navigation systems often use both GPS and INS in case of disruption of satellite signals. We conclude that in modern warfare, operating environments and tactics, threats to tanks are undergoing profound changes. Nevertheless, basic missions such as maneuver, assault, capture and control of battlefield remain unchanged. Therefore, tanks are still the main fighting instrument of armies' offensive and defensive forces in high-intensity warfare as well as in other missions such as counterterrorism and security enforcement. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.